let us discuss about the heterocosy it is a type of uh, 2d cosy spectrum where chemical shift of carbon is correlated with the chemical shift of hydrogen which is directly attached to that particular carbon so therefore the application of heterocosy spectrum is to detect the chemical shift value of carbon and the chemical shift value of uh, directly attached hydrogen and also to detect J1 heteronuclear coupling partners. Now uh, when we perform the heterocosy spectrum and the spectra um, will be having two axes one is the x-axis where the chemical shift value of the carbons are plotted so the range of x-axis will be 0 to 220 ppm and the chemical shift value of the hydrogen will be plotted on the y-axis so the range of y-axis will be 0 to 10 sometimes 0 to 15 delta ppm now here the carbon and the directly bound hydrogens they give the contoured spots and the carbon which is quaternary means the carbon which does not have attached hydrogen they do not give any contoured spot so in that way we can confirm the presence of quaternary carbons and their chemical shift values now if we perform the heterocosy spectrum the pulse sequence of heterocosy spectrum for the proton channel is preparation time then 90 degree pulse then evolution time t1 and uh, mixing time followed by one more pulse 90 degree and finally the protons will be subjected to the decoupling and for the 13c channel the experimental sequence will be it is also a multiple sequence 180 degree and uh, one more pulse also will be there there will be some delay time t1 um, by 2 and um, also some time lag will be there and finally the carbon will be recorded um, i mean free induction decay will be recorded so what is the application in order to uh, develop the carbon hydrogen connectivity and in order to find out what are their chemical shift values uh, what are the chemical shift values of the quaternary carbons present in the compound quaternary carbons are at all present or not in order to know all these to gather all this important information related to the structure of the compound heterocosy spectrum will be having very um, uh, important utility but uh, it, this uh, experiment has its own disadvantage although by performing and recording heterocosy spectrum we get important information about the carbon and hydrogen connectivity but this experiment is not very sensitive experiment it requires more sample more time and uh, after that also um, it uh, sometimes it does not produce a reliable result so it has a better advanced uh, alternative nowadays that is um, hmqc heteronuclear multiple coherent experiment we get the same information but uh, that is easy to perform and in that case x axis will be for the chemical shift values of the hydrogen and the y axis will be for the chemical shift of carbons now let us consider some um, simple examples of um, heterocosy spectrum of two heptanone let us consider so two heptanone means there are seven carbons are there and the second position we have the um, c double bond o the, all the seven carbons are different now first we have to know the uh, order of the seven signals what will be the order the highest value key as expected it will be the c double bond o will be at the 200 uh, ppm and then all the uh, remaining six carbons will come the COCH2 will be having the higher value than COCH3 after that um, we will be having the you know, fourth carbon fifth carbon sixth carbon and the seventh carbon so the order for the carbon uh, axis will be uh, C2 then C3 then C1 after that um, third carbon fourth carbon fifth carbon and sixth carbon 
this is the um, expected carbon uh, BB spectrum of the carbon which we have to neatly draw on the uh, top of the x axis in order to develop the correlation. Now let us discuss the proton NMR spectrum of this particular compound. There are uh, six carbons are there where we have the hydrogens and so um, number of and all the hydrogens are different. So um, like uh, C13, seven signals here in the proton NMR we will be getting the six signals. Now highest value will be COCH2 followed by the COCH3 after that as in case of the C13. Uh, C4, C5, C6, C7 will come. Now let us discuss the multiplicity of these signals that is um, uh, COCH2 will come at the highest delta value will come as a triplet then COCH3 will come as a singlet then that is the fourth carbon will come as a um, uh, quintet fifth carbon also will come as a quintet sixth carbon will come as a sextet and the last ca carbon will come as a triplet. So, this is the overall proton NMR spectrum. So, first is the sketching of the uh, C13 NMR on the top of the x axis. Next is the sketching of the um, proton NMR on the top of the y axis. Usually, we uh, we draw in the uh, left side. We can draw on the right side also does not matter. And in this case, uh, the, the, as because the uh, axes are unsymmetrical, so um, these will not have the diagonal peak and the off-diagonal peak like that in homo cosy. Uh, here, just we will be getting the contour spots and um, symmetrical look will not be there because the two um, axes are different. So, now um, these six carbons, we have to um, pick up the uh, direct um, carbons means um, C1, C3 carbon is the highest value value other than the C2. C2 will be coming approximately at 200 and it will not be having any contour spot. It indicates it is a quaternary carbon and it is a ketone because around 200 uh, we are getting one peak which does not have any contour speed, uh, spot means it does not have any attached hydrogen. So, it is not aldehyde, it is ketone and then C3 will come, C3 will be having the contour spot with the C3 hydrogens, C1 carbon will be having contour spot with the C1 hydrogens, C4 will carbon will be having the contour spot with the C4 hydrogens, C5 carbon will be having the contour spot with the C5 hydrogens, C6 carbon will be having contour spot with the C6 hydrogens and finally the lowest delta value C7 carbon means that is the CH3 carbon will be having the delta value um, carbon will be connected to this uh, hydrogen. So, with this uh, to six contour spots we will be getting. So, with this the um, like this two heptanone head spectra will look like.